paid it back, I'm just a spinner. I got racks, I put some paper on the fuck nigga head, get the little boy hit up. What's up, my friend? I'm Macro from Mixing with Macro. I'm a recording and mixing engineer. I mix in stereo and in Adobe Atmos for Apple Music. And today we're gonna do a quick breakdown of I Ain't Mean to Hurt You by Lil King featuring Starband. This was a very challenging session to do. So I got the session. They wanted the session same day because literally their team was on the way to shoot the music video so they can sync it up with the video and also deliver it to streaming services and everything and put the song out ultimately. So this mix had to be right. Now I'm gonna play a quick before and after to show you how the mix came to me and how I delivered it. This is the rough mix. And this is the after. I came up a bag, I lost it, then I made it back, I'm just spinning. I got racks, I put some paper on the fuck nigga head, get the little boy hit up. It's a real little bands, we popping outside with some bands, we ain't doing no pits. I'm happy with the way it turned out. It was approved when I sent it over, and that is the main goal to help everyone involved in the music to reach their goals and one of the main goals is a high quality well mixed and mastered song now here's a quick breakdown i got this session from another engineer the recording engineer and usually the artist really likes the rough mix because they've just done the recording so they really like the integrity of that mix so my goal is not to come in and impose myself on the mix like all right cool i'm the mixing engineer i'm just gonna go do this 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 here's your mix it's more of finding out what the goal is of the artist, what the goal is of the artist's team, and then match my expertise to help them reach their goals. With this record, it's not to do all the thrills of beat drops and crazy vocal effects and all that. The goal is to make this sound like a finished product. So as the record came over, it already came with the recording engineer's vocal chain. So I just knew immediately some of the things that I needed to do on my end to make sure that it goes to the next level. Now you heard the before and after. And if you watch my channel, you subscribe to me or if if you have seen other of my videos you would know that this is not my traditional vocal chain but in this vocal chain they started with the de -esser and then they went straight into a lot of high-end processing so if you look here you see they got the c6 c4 the ssl channel strip and then some compression then they have more eqs and then i added some of my plugins in here and ultimately finished with a vitamin now with this i tweak certain settings to make sure that is hitting the way it's supposed to hit and not giving too much high end and sounding way too bright for what we need in this scenario my goal with this song was to make it sound as clean as possible they had their effects on here but i really didn't use any of their effects because i knew the way i would be doing effects would sound really great with this record especially with all the high end on the vocal it's great for this type of song because the beat is not very crowded it's a very open beat if you just listen to it a lot of space for the vocal to sit came up a bag i lost it then i made it back i'm just spinning so yeah send it over it was approved deadlines mad they shot their video is out now it's in the description if you want to go watch the video or if you want to just go stream it on your favorite streaming platform it's there for you to check it out as well let's get it i'll see you in the next video